Hey guys, before starting, don't forget to check out this uh, uh, awesome 3D modeling channel on SolidWorks. Goes with the name of MacBus. The link is in the description below. So do have a look on this channel and don't forget to subscribe it. Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this wired basket. So again, this is a tip centric video. So I will not be considering any particular dimension. I will just show you how to make this wired uh, uh, basket. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a circle of say radius uh, 50. Okay. You guys will uh, soon understand what I'm doing. Uh, again, create a construct and offset plane 50 mm upwards like this and on this offset plane co-centric with this draw a circle of dia 150 and sketch. So what I'm going to do, I am actually making a basket or a bowl. Uh, basically, if you just ignore all this wire, this is actually a bowl. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I will, I'm making a bowl. So I am using the loft commands so that I can, uh, you know, alter the design of the ball at any time. So first of all, select the first EF profile and for second profile, choose this. Now as both of the one, this is profile two. So instead of connected, select direction. Now if I just as you guys can see if I just drag drag it upwards it will change the shape accordingly so this will come as handy because we will be make working on a prematric design this time so even in the light, last of the video if, if I just uh, go back to the history and will change the this profile here so it will create an impact on the final design as well so suppose that this is uh, this looks good uh, yeah this looks good and you, you, there are various other settings you can also look at that also but for now okay so now what i'm going to do is for making the these rings it's up to you how much you want it to be made for example one two three and similarly at uh, uh, till the bottom i have got around eight lines of that so the trick is first of all create an offset plane from here Let's say uh, we are going to create a plane at every uh, 10 mm. Let's say 10 and press enter. Again, again create a 10 mm offset plane and repeat the same step. Uh, the offset distance uh, can be varied as per your design and uh, the frequency of the, you know, the ring that you want suppose that let's make it here now i have created as you guys can see it's an unequal plane i am just showing you the trick one two three four five six uh, here i have created equidistance plane each uh, 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 apart from the other at a distance of 5 mm so uh, uh, this time i'm not considering any dimension so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a sketch first of all just hide the constructed plane and default plane select the default plane go to create go to project and select include 3d geometry no select project and click on project select the filter as body and select this body and press ok now you guys can see we have got this curve here now you may finish the sketch now bring back the construction body and start by making from the very first plane so first plane click on the sketch we have to repeat the same step we have to project it or you can even intersect it so this body and lick like this now repeat the same step for each and every surf uh, uh, each and every plane that you have created so here I have a shortcut like this as you guys can see so I'm just skipping this step just remember to keep at the intersection of this bowl at each and every plane that you have created. Now I have all the uh, all the intersection. Uh, I am going to hide this body. Now what I am going to do is 
I am going to create a pipe. Click on pipe. Just uncheck the chain selection and select this curve. Now you can choose from the profile of circular, triangular and rectangular. So I am going to choose the circular. Let's make it 3. Yeah, 3 is okay. And let's make it new component and press OK. Now go to create, go to pattern, go to circular pattern. So select component as this. Axis is the green one. And as many component you want, let's say 40. Or let's make it 50. Or 55. Yeah, and press OK. Now basically, so you guys can see that it every one of them has individual component we can use the combine button to combine them later on so again repeat the same step for these profiles also let's make it join the same and repeat the same step for each and every intersection that you have created so once you have created just bring back the first body and do a pipe on this surface also uh, a slight bigger one all of the same size as per you like this the switch of this body and just instead of making it join just make it a new body hide this and uh, for this profile you can create simply create a circle here and click on that too. and you can just extrude it so what i have done here i have just created a circle here and just extruded it so uh, and the, I have chosen to make the ball of this shape. Remember what we have what I have said in the starting. If I just go to edit and go to edit feature, if I just suppose that let's make the profile one as directional also. So if I just want to make it like this, suppose that, and if I just press OK, it will take some time computing, and you guys can see it got some error while making the pipe, but. The, if all things went oh when okay so it will automatically update your design so this was the trick that we, you should follow uh, while making this type of baskets in fusion 360 so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day